Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and this city has the maximum number of cars allowed in the game. Vehicles, 99%. 16,384 is the capacity. We're four cars away from this city being absolutely filled to the brim. The traffic is horrendous. Every single road out of the city is red. Everything in the city is gridlock, and for a city this size to have 99% traffic is just the worst I have ever, ever seen. Thank you very much to Thomas, uh, tech guy, for sending this in, and we are going to see if we can fix all of this up. So if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell. Don't miss out on them. And leave a like as well. Every like equals one sip of tea for me. So yeah, that would be good. So I'm just following this traffic to see where the problems are. And yeah, loads of issues. Loads of issues here. And then it heads into the... Actually, that is heading into the city. Yeah. Heading in, heading in, doing the thing where they like to use one lane. Look at that, six lanes and they're using one lane because they all want to turn left. Interesting, interesting, and they can't. So my initial thought is this has got to be a roundabout to get this moving. And also we could, I mean, we could just try a little something here. Let's take a look at the lanes. If we change this, one lane for left, one lane for straight on, and one lane for right then all of these cars wouldn't use that one lane, <clears throat> which is what is happening at the moment. But also, yeah, this just needs to be a roundabout. So we are going to use the roundabout mods, and I might even just move it a little bit further down, down here. There we go. So let's just check that's all been set up. And of course, using the roundabout mods, you can get your traffic manager set up. This is the way I have it. So that one selected, that one deselected. And then that is the way that I like it. So when we click on here, particularly when there's lots of traffic, they can go through the block junction if they're on the roundabout, but not if they're coming onto the roundabout, which is good for when, yeah, it's all super busy. That one's not on because I deleted the road and rebuilt it. That's fine. And let's just check that. They're all giving way. Excellent. So that is going to keep all of this moving. It's going to take a few moments for everybody to realize what the heck is going on. So let's leave them thinking about that. And hopefully that will start helping. I want to head all the way back down here again. Because I'm pretty sure that this roundabout here is not set up. No, it isn't. So let's do all the giveaway signs and the necessary things. You've got lots of lanes going on here as well. But... I'll leave all the lanes that you've got, and we'll just see how that goes. And then also, coming off the highway here, yeah, we've got that same thing. Now, there's two choices you can do here. If you have the mod, the traffic manager mod, which I'm using here, you can select that road and say one lane for off, two lane for straight on. You can do that. Or the other way you can do it, if you don't have mods... Uh, and you want to just do it uh, using roads, you could just downgrade this one to a two-lane road. And you'll notice... Oh, it hasn't changed it. I'll tell you why. Oh, it does that every time. That's because I selected it with this and messed around with it. If I hadn't have done that, it would have worked okay. So let me... Come here. No, not that one. This one. Let me select that. There we go. It would have done that automatically for me. I'll tell you what. I'll show you on this one. Let us downgrade this. Here, so three lanes minus one, down to two lanes. Excellent. And then this lane here. Yep, there we go. You can see it. Automatically, that lane goes off and those two go straight on. So that's going to help all the cars that are here. Some of them are just going to come out and go straight through and head off down into this part of the city. This junction we can't get to. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is we are going to actually buy that square. You've got infinite money on anyway, so you may as well. And let's just take a bit of a look at this. This has got the same thing going on. Let's biffify this junction three lanes minus one down to two lanes plus one back to three minus one back down to two again there we go and we can do that on the other side and that will sort out all of your lane management and then all you want to do let's go back to this junction is to make sure when the cars are coming on they're not getting in each other's way so we're going to say you go there Excuse me. You go there. Look at these. Look, look, they're all trying to cut across each other. That's what we're trying to stop. And you go there. So you don't drive around. You stick in your lanes. And that will just keep things moving nicely. And then we'll come down. Yeah, you have done some traffic manager stuff. Look, I've just noticed here. You've got this going on. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. 
And then we do the same here where they come on. We're going to say, you go there. Come here. Come here. You go there. And you go there. Select. What is that he's got in there? Trash and all sorts of stuff. And then the same over here where they come out. Uh, look at that. Instantly, they start not getting in each other's way, which is great. Ah, is there a node in the middle here? Otherwise, we're forcing these guys to go off. You can check whether there's a node. No, there isn't. So, this is why I don't like these, because yeah, there's not much space for moving around. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to delete that, and I'm going to add in a node. So, I'm going to go from here to there, and then there to there. So, now we've got a node in the middle. If we have a look, there we go. So if they do need to change lanes, they've got the option to do so. It's still going to be a bit hawky-borky when there's tons of traffic. But as the traffic dies down, there we go, that lane switch in there will become less of a problem. And that's it. Uh, and this bit here, this is where they're coming back on. Look. Oh, I tell you what, we can do the lane mathematic thing going the other direction as well, can't we? There we go. Excellent. So that's going to just get things moving a little bit. Let's see what the traffic is actually on. 6%. Wow. It is absolutely really terribly horrendous, isn't it? So let's look around and see where we can get some of this moving. So they're all heading up here. <laughs> they're all heading up here down this highway. And then they're all coming off to go around here. And then... Okay, so this... This is interesting. So they're all coming off there. They're all coming round here. And then they're hitting this. And this is slowing them down. Why is this slowing them down so much? And why is this a roundabout? You don't need a roundabout here, do you? You really don't. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to just rebuild this section here. There we go. That's going to get this moving a bit quicker down here and get them moving into the city, which is what we need. And then this little bit here where they're all doing the hawky borkiness. All of these guys just, yeah. I mean, eventually that will not be a problem. But because it's just so busy. But you can see they're sort of spreading out. I might stop them lane switching down here. Just so we can use up. If we say no lane switching, no lane switching. Get them to come down here. And then they can pick their lanes when they get down here. Again, this is just tips for getting your traffic to go down. That means they can pick another lane. Normally, you wouldn't have to do all of that. It would just be fine moving along as it is. That is going to take some time to go down. That is all the traffic coming in from, yeah, coming in from the <laughs> outside the city as well. It's all coming into this one little lane down here. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. I'm just wondering whether we could just... I mean, even if I help this here, it's, it's still moving quite slowly, isn't it, around here? Do you know what I might just do? It's just also changed the speed limit on here. It's 100. I'm going to drop that down to 50 just to give people a chance to get out and into the city. There we go. One more slight change as well. I've added these little bypass roads around the outside just so any cars coming down here can head on over the top and it's less likely to block all the cars coming in. And if you're going to set these up, you want to just uh, get Traffic Manager, change the speed of these outside roads to be faster than going through here, uh, which I've done. I might just drop those there to 50 as well. There we go. So everything's 50 through there, or 100 around the outside. And then just use your lane connectors as well. There we go, to make sure these all merge in nicely on both sides. And already, look, this is all cleared up this side. And that means these guys can get going. Yeah, they can move in nice and quickly. And do you know what I'm going to do? Just to help the traffic move down quicker, I'm going to do that. There we go. Keep them going. So let's follow it up here. What are they doing? They're all trying to get over into one lane. We're going to do a little bit of lane management here. Let's grab this lane connector. One for left, one for straight on, one for right. Get them to use all of the lanes and keep moving up there, which is good. We could tell them not to lane switch. Ah, okay. These are... Ah, disposal facilities. Right, so these on a main road, these are basically garbage or rubbish collection sites. We want those somewhere else, so I am going to move those. These roads down here are quite quiet, so I'm going to move those off the main road, and we're going to tuck them. Let's just spread them out a bit. Tuck them over there, out of the way. Uh, can you go up here? Thank you very much. And you as well. We'll put you around the other side. Oh, that's more commercial stuff. There we go. 
So we don't have all these garbage trucks suddenly cutting across the traffic and all that sort of thing. And that should really start helping this to go down quite quickly. Let's take a look at our traffic. 7%. It's going up. Right, back to this roundabout that we put in earlier. Lots of cars are driving over the top of each other because traffic is so horrendously bad. And they're all coming down here. And then it's all getting a bit hawky-borky down here. So it looks like, yeah, everybody's using that lane in the middle. Now... There's a couple of things we could do here. We could just plonk in a roundabout and be done with it, which may be what I end up doing. But what I'm going to do is change that lane in the middle to only be one thing. Now, it seems like most people do want to turn right. So I'm going to have those two lanes for right, this one lane for left. And do we actually have traffic lights here? We do. I was going to say, I might pop some traffic lights in and oh my goodness me, that traffic is noisy yeah just to see now with traffic lights some time traffic lights might work here because we could just keep these guys going right what are we going into three lanes into a two lane then they're coming along here ah there's traffic lights all along here right okay let's just keep this moving we want this moving along here let us make this a main road i'm going to hold shift Yep, that's going to do that. So every road coming on is now give way. And they will just keep on moving through and not stopping for traffic lights. That'll keep the traffic moving a lot quicker. Uh, I'm also going to do our lane thing just along here. I want this road here. There we go. So one lane for left, one for straight on. I'm going to do it all the way along just because it's a heck of a lot of junctions. There we go, one lane for left, one for straight on, one lane for left, one for straight on, and that'll get them moving down there. Excellent. So hopefully that'll just keep on going. Hmm. And then we'll just keep that running and see what happens. These guys here. Do you know what? I just think we need a roundabout. I've, I've, there's just so much traffic. Even a little teeny tiny small roundabout in here would work well. Three lane highway with the soundproof barriers. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. Bash. That is just going to make the world of difference as to keeping all of this moving. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do a little something as well. We're going to say one lane for off, two for straight on. So now everyone's going to start complaining now. Oh, you can't do that. You're forcing people to do Yes, you can. You can do that. And then what you do is when you come on, you say pick the lane. Pick a lane. Uh, pick a lane and pick a lane. So they pick the lane when they come on. Uh, let's just check. That one's fine. That one's fine. That one's fine. Yep. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, nope, not that one. This one. Yes, that's fine. So they pick a lane when they come on and then they just keep moving. I don't want any stopping. Okay. So what I've done as well to keep this all moving is I'm forcing these guys to pick their lane here with this tool saying yep pick your lane when you come around the corner and then that's it once you're in your lanes you're stuck if you want to go straight on you're in that outside lane there we go if you want to turn left you can go into these lanes to turn left but you need to pick back here just to keep everything moving and you know what i'm also going to do it doesn't make any difference other than visually i'm going to turn off all the parking along here because it makes it look like it's busier than it actually is and i don't think you should have parking on a main road there we go all the way along all the way along all the way along there we go good so now that's going to keep moving and then they're going to come up here big chocker blockness and they're going to hit this and this is where a load of cars are coming in so a big junction like this you just seriously need bigger roads and also i am going to upgrade this road a lot of people ask me where i get my roads from i use uh, network extensions so we're going to upgrade this one to four lanes. Network extensions two, which gives me like this nifty little four lane small road, which is going to speed this up. So if we look at the speed on here, that is 50 and that's 40. So a little bit quicker because you can see that these guys are already viewing this as a main road. So we're going to give them the extra lanes. It means you lose your trees, but that's just the way it's going to be. That's going to go all the way down to the junction. There we go. Excellent. And there was another road they were cutting through. This one here. We're going to make that a four-lane road as well. There we go. Very good. And then here, I just think you need a teeny tiny roundabout. Anybody surprised? I've got a quick sip of tea before I do that. Ah, some places just need a roundabout. 
ping. An error occurred. Let's not worry too much about the error. Let's make sure it's all set up correctly. All the giveaways, that's fine. All the let you go through, enter the block junction. All good, all good. Let's have a look at our cars here. The vehicles, 94%. So people are able to leave the city now, which is always a bonus. That's why things are so bad. They were trying to get in the city and leave the city. And it was becoming horrendously bad. So, okay, let's see what's happening here. And then they're coming down to this roundabout down here. And that is just going to keep moving uh, as it does. So, as time goes by, 8%. It is building up. It's getting better. That is what we want to see. Okay, so something else I normally like to check in a city of this size. Let's just take a quick look. Oh, my goodness sake, it's so red is the use of the public transportation so let's have a look through what you've got here you have some bus lines absolutely no passengers at all with 13 stops how many buses are on that four zero out of four well that is weird i don't know what's going on there maybe you haven't got a bus depot no trams uh, you have metro which is good uh, no trains, nothing else. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at your metro. You've got like a loop going around here. You've got a couple of lines going in each direction. That's good. So you've got this area covered here. You don't have this area covered or this area covered. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another loop up around here. And I'm going to set up another loop covering this area and i'm going to connect those together okay what have we got now well we've got the route that you had set up down there i've got a loop here a loop here i've got a line that just goes backwards and forwards at the top i've got a loop here and a loop here they can cross over there and get near to each other i've got a path going from one side to the other here there's stops near each other there stops near each other there and the last thing i want to do is put a path over this highway so if people want to get from one side to the other they can let's actually do it like this straight over page down there we go that connects there and page down that will connect there excellent so let's just move that around a little bit there we go so i want to see how many people are going to end up using these here's my metro lines all the green ones down the bottom number seven to number 15 so i'm gonna let this run a while we'll come back and see how many cars, or sorry, number 8 to number 15, how many cars we're taking off the road. Well, I've been letting the game run for a bit. We're up to 56% traffic. That is fantastic. And look at all the people using these metro lines. Some of these smaller ones, not so much, but 587 people on there, and that will only increase as time goes by. That is fantastic. Okay, I'm also spending a bit of time going through the junctions, doing the lane mathematics. Three lanes, one goes off down to two, and all that sort of thing just to try and help things keep moving along and this oh i hate this junction is just awful for all the merging lanes and things like that do you know what i just i can't leave it in the game it is gone thank you very much oh 64 percent it's going up and down it's getting better slowly slowly it's going up 67 68 67 yeah getting there getting there i've added another little junction in over here because these cars are all coming down here all going through there and trying to get down here over into this section so i've changed this junction for four-way clover leaf and added this little one on here and that's really helped and we're well over 70 percent now it's sort of been going up to 75 coming back down to sort of 69 going back up again so i am yeah not too unhappy with that look at that it's like hardly any cars at all which is fantastic let's keep things running also been growing the city 136,000 because we had lost a lot of people so that is not too shabby either
Let's take a final look. 80%. I don't think that is too bad at all. There are still some hot spots in the city, but I think we've done the best we can with the layout we've got. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the next video on the screen, and I will see you very soon for some more Fix Your City. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.